And joining me now in studio is Shmulik Moskovich, board member and co-founder of Nechama and Atzala for Israel, the organization that has stepped up the plate during these times of war. Nechama and Atzala for Israel are responsible for donating, packaging, and delivering food and supplies to soldiers and evacuated families. Shmulik, great having you here today. How are you doing? Thank you very much for having me. So really, it's our pleasure. The organization is really young, I understand. How did the idea really come to mind to start something like this? And how did you really get involved? So, um, it all started a few years ago when my mother passed away. And uh, uh, me and, and my mother was, for I think 30 or 40 years, a social, uh, social worker in Bnei Brak. Uh, that was her life uh, journey and work and, and uh, goals. And after she passed away, uh, me and my brother and my sister, by the way, my sister also a social worker, like continue her, her, her uh, way, her legacy. And me and my brother fought together how to do it as well. So we come up and said that we want to uh, open a non-profit organization. We call it, we call it uh, Nechama and Atzala for Israel. Nechama, it's my mother originally name. Uh, she, uh, usually we called her, the, her name was Naomi, but Nechama is the birth uh, name. And uh, so we decided to open it. It took us a few years, everybody, you know, life happening. And two and a half years ago, we opened it. And we actually launched it uh, six months ago. Actually launched it with the first uh, ambulance that we had. And uh, then in the Oct 7 October, uh, the war broke. And it all changed. And it all changed. All what we thought that we want to do, it all changed. And the same morning that it happened, like, you know, I'm sitting with my family at home. And me and my brother, we thought what we can do. Uh, there's an old saying in Israel from Ben Gurion, uh, the first uh, prime minister, that he says, said that uh, each soldier needs to see that the old the campaign, all the war is on his shoulders. Wow. So we thought, we're not, uh, me and my brother is now in reserves unit as well in the army. My mother is in Gaza now and I'm uh, located in the center. Okay. And we said, yeah, we are in the reserves. We, this is our duty, but maybe we can do more. And I really want to talk to you about the numbers because, you know, the, ma the numbers are really huge and I have to read it from here. You know, I'm talking about 4,800 packaged meals delivered to over 11,400 soldiers and 2,300 evacuated families. What does your workforce really look like to deliver so many packages? I mean, how do you do it? It's, it sounds really complex. So, um, after a few days, uh, we managed with our connection to get uh, uh, in a, not an apartment, in a house in Ramat Gan, uh, and all the villa that was empty. And the owner says, come, we heard about you, come and, and you can use all the facility. It's, they have like a yard and uh, two floors of uh, uh, the house. And we open it over there, the, our distribution center. And we, have, we had a lot of volunteers and we still have a lot of volunteers from Ramat Gan, from the area come. And a lot of the community over there also donate a lot of food and uh, clothes. And we managed to get support from all around the world, from Brazil to New York to uh, Miami, LA, uh, Taiwan either, even from the government of Taiwan to donate us and to provide us the resource that we can buy and purchase a lot of food and a lot of gift cards to bring to people. And I just came from, uh, from, the, from the, our distribution center and we met uh, two families, one from Netivot and the other one from Zderot that came and we, that was one of the, our things that we do, a customized things that we call them. We ask them what, they, what you need. And they say we need a pot for cooking our meal for dinner on Saturday evening, like the fish on Saturday, you know, yes. it's additional. People want home food because yeah. they're eating like hotel food for so long. Shmulik, I really want to ask you if someone like me or any other person really wants to help you and donate and help you guys with everything you need, how do we do it right now? Uh, so, first of all, I want to say thank you for all the support that we already have. And just continue to support us if it's by send us uh, food or packages or provide resource like money or funds. Uh, it really helps us. We can purchase uh, uh, things and then deliver it to uh, soldiers. Uh, now we have a big 
uh, plan for uh, Kitot Kanenut. Kitot Kanenut is the civilian the volunteers, really in the volunteers in the village, uh, the local people that uh, want to defend their home. And we help them with a lot of gear, uh, the rifle and the ammunition they get from the police. All right, I assume we have the website, right? And, yeah. and people can go and see what you're doing. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me.